in this video, we'll be playing Levy Rosman of Gotham Chess. Well, not really. We'll play his robot from chess.com. And we're going to use the assisted uh, option. Uh, you can play a, a bot and you can have the assisted option where you can win one star or friendly where you get take backs into two and then challenge where you can earn three stars. Actually, if you play the friendly version and don't do any take backs, you get three stars. So it's a lot of fun to do and um, we'll get this thing going and uh, we'll hit uh, play over here and we'll see what happens. So um, I'll just this back and we can see some of the the stuff that's going on here as as we the play goes on all right so um the first option is uh you know knight to f3 which is the ready and i've fallen in love with that since i've been playing with the assisted um assisted option okay so he, he puts the the pawn to g6 uh getting ready for a fanchetto so i'm going to go ahead and move these pawns up. I'd like to get two pawns in the center if I could. So he attacks that pawn and um, I'm going to go ahead and put the knight here. I'm going to protect that then go up here. Okay, so we're doing pretty decent. Uh, at least the white line is not, you know, has not tanked yet. So now my options are the, the, uh, the pawn, I mean, the bishop to c4. Uh, cause it go here or there. So I guess if I go here, I could be targeting that pawn, but that seems pretty, you know, um, pretty simple to play levy that. All right. So now we have, uh, the, the bishop here, the bishop to G five, and that would be threatening this. And of course that, so of course he could advance. So let's go put the bishop here. That was like the, one of the strongest things. I didn't castle. I had the option to castle. All right. So my bishop is unprotected where it's at. I can either uh, move it back to b3, uh, or I can go in here. I like attacking and defending at the same time. So Levy's alter ego gets the bishop to safety. So I have a couple of things. I'm going to go ahead and castle king's side. So his, so we can uh, kick the knight. I really, I really like kicking the knight because if I put my pawn to h3, it kicks the knight and it gives me a way to uh, have my king escape. So I can take his knight, or I can get my bishop out of the way. Um, my bishop is unprotected, which I don't like very well, but it, I would, you know, get my pawns out of sync anyway. I like the idea of taking his knight. Let's just do that. He takes with his bishop. And so the, uh, the engine recommends strongly that I uh, move my G pawn up. I like that idea. I've seen Levy do that in some of his games. Let's just do that. Okay, so that's there. The, he put his knight to a6. So my recommendation is to get this queen up. I'm going to do that because if he takes the knight, I don't want to mess my pawns up. Okay, so he has his knight to c5. Recommendation is to move my bishop one way or the other. I'm going to move it here. So it gets the it makes the rook move over. Then I can go and threaten his knight or threaten his bishop. So let's see, if I threaten the knight, where will the knight go? The knight will have to go here. It can't go here or here or there. It really only has one move to go, and I can take it if I want to and mess his pawns up. Let's do that. Levy. <laughs> oh, so he did that. Why did he do that? Oh, because it's protected here. So I just lost a pawn. Not really. Not really. So he is threatening with his uh, uh, knight here. So if I take if I take his knight, he'll take and I'll take. So although look, oh look at that, that's not good. Oh, and the and I'm I'm getting threatened with my yeah. So I just have a, a terrible situation here. Terrible, terrible. So you know what? I'm going to take back. 
that's one of the things I'm going to uh, enjoy here. So uh, that is. So let's just go ahead and threaten the bishop and see what happens. Okay, the bishop retreats, and then it recommends I take this other pawn up here. I don't like that at all. So I can go. I can move the pawn to e5. Further threaten his bishop. Nowhere does it recommend getting my rook out of danger of this, of you know this, uh, this Fianchetto, Fianchetto bishop that is such a problem here. So that didn't work out so well last time. Getting the king out of the way is probably a good idea. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to move my pawn to e5 and threaten his bishop. So he takes with my pawn. And so the queen could go to e3 or f2. Either way, it still threatens the knight. What I like here is I, I threaten the uh, pawn and the knight if I go here. So let's go here. Go to e3, and that threatens the it threatens the pawn and the knight at the same time. So he takes the uh, pawn, and he's threatening this pawn. But I know from experience, if I take here, now he doesn't have any uh, recommendation of me taking my, putting my bishop here. I wonder why that is. So um, take the pawn with the, you know, take his pawn at e5. I kind of like that idea. He gets a free pawn if we do that. I don't. I don't like that. So let's just take his knight. Look at that. He took that. So there is no recommendation for me to take this pawn. Because for me, I would probably take the pawn here, and then he would probably go there, but I could take that way. I don't know why there's no recommendation from the engine to do that. There is a recommendation, finally. All right, I'm going to do, I'm going to take the pawn. Oh, but I lost a lot. Isn't that so, oh, and there's the, there's the thing. Yeah, I just didn't, I didn't see that. So, so taking the p knight, w taking the knight results in the, so this is uh, to go here. So let's just go ahead and take that pawn at, and um, I'm going to, I'm going to put my bishop here. Oh, look at, look at, we went way down. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay, so that wasn't a good plan. So I had, look how high up my, my bar was before I did that. So now my bar is way up there at seven because I'm using the engine's uh, recommendations. Lost a little bit right there. Okay, and so here uh, he's going to take my pawn if I don't do something. And um, so he takes my pawn, and what do I have that I can do? I can put this pawn, this pawn here, and put my rook here, rook to e1. I really like putting the rook to e1. Let's do that. All right. So now we have two things after this pawn. We have his knight and his bishop are attacking this pawn. And so the recommendation of the engine is to uh, go up with the g-pawn and uh, threaten his uh, king, or begin to threaten it. Um, move the queen to f4 or f2. Not sure why. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> This is crazy to move this pawn up. It seems like a terrible uh, risk to that. At least my my king, so uh, so uh, you know, without defenders or whatever. All 
Let's just move it here. I'll move the queen to f2. Threaten his knight. He has to take. So then I have, he's threatening uh, here and threatening to take this. So the recommendation is to get this, um, this knight out of the way. That brought me down to about half. I'm still higher than, than he is. So, so now I've got to get this uh, bishop out of the way. It seems to me that I could take this bishop here, and he'd have to move this pawn. And I could take with the knight and put him in check. See, to, well, no, I guess it would put him in check. Yeah, that is okay. Good. I really like this move. Okay, let's, let's just let's just do that. Oh, look at that. The bar went way down with that one. So what, oh, I see, the queen is protecting this pawn. So if we go here, he has to take. So, oh, I see. Okay. All right, so here is a good place for my bishop. Oh, we went way down. Look at that. That's terrible. So let's get this bishop out of danger. Okay. He's up three. I don't know when he got up three. <laughs> Probably pawns. So let's put this... Uh, put. So we have bishops, uh, the white bishop, to move to d3. I don't know why. Move to... Uh... So I like the idea of moving my rook here. That lines him up on the queen, and I could go up and, and do something. So he's threatening this pawn. But if I move my bishop here... Threatens his queen, and now he has two things, two um, Why is this a good move, or or why is that a good move? Oh, I see what that is. It would protect that pawn, but not really. All right, let's go here. Go to uh, f3, and it protects that pawn, and then uh, the engine recommends taking it. So we can move the rook here. That leaves me still a little bit higher. So if we move the pawn up, I think we'll get that knight with a pawn. Oh, he's threatening my, my uh, bishop. I get my bishop out of the way. All right, I get to take this with a pawn. All right. That he's still ahead one point. All right, so now we can advance this. They're bringing it. Oh yeah, Rick, move this up. But if we move, if we move this up, this will take. And there's nothing I can do with that. So I don't really, I don't really understand why that's a good move. Oh, I forgot. So this rook is on the same thing. I don't see these things very well. Okay, the engine says we're almost, we're almost really winning. That's amazing. All right, so I'm going to put this, put the pawn up to uh, d6, and so he took my pawn, threatening my rook. All right, so I will take his bishop. Now what that does is it threatens his rook, and then I can still advance this pawn up. Oh, look at that! I can take this rook. I mean. I, I can I, I can take my queen at f3 and take this pawn at c6. Would I have done any of this in a regular game? I don't know. All right, here we go. So now I can still go forward with the... So I, I like this recommendation to move the rook to b1. All right, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take the pawn at uh, b5. Okay, he's threatening my queen. 
have to get my queen out of the way. So we trade queens. So I take the queen. Okay, now I can move the pawn up. And I'm getting really close to getting another queen. Okay. It's looking good. All right. Okay, so <laughs> now he just has, he has a lot more pawns than I do. One, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five pawns. I have two pawns. They're recommending I go, uh, I put a pawn up to G, um, to G4. I'm really not excited about that idea. Move. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, put the rook here and get rid of that pawn. Yeah, so let's get rid of this pawn. And then I really don't want to. Uh, so we have, you know, I would really, I would probably move my king up and start having fun up there that way. If I move this pawn here. That's one of the strongest recommendations. Of course, I can get rid of these pawns by waiting. All right, let's just go here. Let's take the rook to a7 and get ready to get rid of some pawns. Okay, we have here. So take. And the king takes. And then I can take these other pawns. That leaves me one pawn. It's good enough. So, recommendation to go back here. I'm not sure why. Put the king in check. Nice. So now I can go to h4. Get ready to take that pawn. Take it. One pawn left. Let me get this out of the way. And so now I'll get my king out to start doing battle. I don't want to put this pawn up. I don't want to try to put him in checkmate with what I have. Great. So now he is cordoned off. He can only go, you know, uh, in here. He's stuck here because my rook is covering these squares and now the recommendation from the engine is to start moving where I can actually put him in checkmate with the king and the rook. I, I, you know, the, the engine's going to tell me when we go through the review, you had a checkmate, you could have got there quicker, but this works, okay? If I march this pawn down and get a queen, I know I can put him in checkmate with a queen and a rook fairly easily, and you know, like a, a beginner chess player, or whatever. And so now we go here and. Let's see what he says at the end. Whoops, I don't want to do that. There we go, because he's he's been talking smack the whole time. I just didn't do it. All right, so there we go. Checkmate. I beat Gotham Chess and got one star. So you defeated the great Levy Rosman. You should feel really proud of yourself. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Even if it was like that, but what did, what did I learn from that? Every time I do this, I learn something. I learn a new a new aspect on being a little more aggressive, a new aspect on defending and attacking at the same time. And good grief, I, I watch a lot of Gotham chess, and it's fascinating how he thinks and how he plays. And I've taken some. He has some free courses you can take. I've taken several of those. And uh, I love that. I'm also, of course, taking classes with uh, Chess Vibes. I'm really trying to get better. As you can see, I'm up to uh, 1036, and I was down in the 900s. So it's slowly inching up there. But one of the ways I've done it is to play really good, uh, you know, really good personalities with the one-star option. And I highly recommend that. Give it a try. Uh, let's go ahead and do a review, um, game review. And here we is, the review. Let's get this out of the way. Not that. Get this out of the way. There we go. All right. So, so we can see that uh, sometimes good positional play lets you seize the advantage in the middle game. Yeah, positional play is huge. I'm, I'm still learning. I've got so much to learn. It's insane. But I'm loving that. So I had me at 83%, 77%. 
So he played at 1750 and I played at 2250 with assistance. Obviously, I didn't play at that level, but with the assistance I was able to. Man, that's a feeling of power to play like that. I recommend it. Give it a try. All right, so let's start the review and see what it says. So uh, the ready is a less common but flexible opening. I'm really liking it. It starts, uh, you know, with the uh, king at f3. Of course, you choose uh, whether you're going to get the king's pawn or queen's pawn out. You know, most likely you'll get the you'll get the king's pawn to uh, e3 and the queens to to uh, d4. That's one of the most common because they're probably going to get their knight out and, and make it where you can't put anything in that square. But he didn't do that. He got ready for a fianchetto. So I got my king's pawn up, and he fianchetto his bishop. I should have got the uh, other pawn up. I could have, but I didn't. It's a good move. And so he moved his knight to... That, there's a question mark on that move. wonder why that is. It doesn't really say. I'd like to know why. So I put my bishop where the engine recommended. I don't think I ever would have done that. And I put this... Uh, this uh, you know, my, my bishop there, not sure why. So he went and threatened my free bishop. So what I could have done, by the way, I could have put my, uh, I could have put my queen here. And if he would have taken my bishop, uh, then, whoops, I don't want to do that. I don't really want to do that. There we go. So when he did that, I could have, well, actually, I guess we could play that a little bit. If I put my queen here, and then, uh, then he takes this bishop. Then I could have taken this knight, and he would have taken, and I would have taken, and I would have had, it would have been even. And so I didn't, I didn't see that at the time, and the engine didn't recommend that. So maybe that is a childish way to do things. I don't know, but uh, I like, I like the idea of it. So what I actually did was go and threaten his bishop at e6 with my pawn at d5, and protected my bishop at c4 all, all, all at one time. So my bishop's protected, and the pawn attacks his bishop, and it's just a great move. All right, so he retreats to d7, and let's get the review back up here instead of stockfish. Moves the bishop to safety, uh, castle, and that's, that's like, this is, uh, so this isn't a mistake that there's something better for you. So recommended moving this pawn up rather than castling, I guess. What was the engine recommendation here? Doesn't say. Well, well, that's fine. All right, so I castled, and the engine recommended it, but didn't really like it and during the review. Kick his knight out of the way. Now his knight is attacking my my free bishop because it's just like there's no, it's not protected. So the, the careful thing here is being sure that you protect it in a good way. And so I took his knight. I like that. That's considered a great move. Took that. So I get my pawn up. And that pawn caused me trouble. I Because cause the moment I take, he can go, he can move his pawn to b5 and fork my knight and my bishop. And of course he did that really quickly. So he puts his knight out here uh, to uh, a6, and I move my queen up to d2. Now he puts his knight here, threatening this pawn. So we have we have two things threatening the pawn. The engine recommended I move to h6 to cause his rook to move out of the way. I'm not sure why that that was a good move, but it was considered a good move. He moved his rook out of the way. And it says he allows the opponent to kick a knight. Well, he really didn't have a choice. He had to move the bishop out of the way. So instead, I kick a, uh, a bishop. Uh, pawns are there to cover your castle king. Think twice before moving them. Well, that is a risk. It is a risk to move your pawns that are in front of the king. But that was one of the things the engine recommended. And you can see the, the progress bar shows that I'm you know between uh, you know five and six. And that's pretty cool. So he moves out of the way, and I go to um, e5 to threaten his bishop and the pawn. So he has to has to respond one way or the other. He takes, I take, he takes, and then I get my rook to e1, threatening his bishop, which has to be protected. So that was considered a bad move. You overlooked an opportunity to win a pawn. 
I don't know what pawn I could have won. That's a problem. It says show moves. I don't think that show moves. Now the show moves really doesn't. It doesn't show how I could have won a pawn. Uh, it, not not to my understanding. All right, so he gets this bishop out of the way, which is great. I move my queen. I really like having um, the queen and the rook as a battery on any file. He is threatening my knight, and I get my knight to e4 to get it out of the way. So then the engine recommends I move this pawn up. I didn't like that idea because I would have lost it. Of course, if I had moved the pawn up, no, I don't see it. I don't see a decent thing to acquire. I don't see why it would be good to move the pawn up. Take his bishop, and he takes, and I take. So I'm doing a bunch of different things to make sure that this bishop here stays safe. He could have taken this. Uh, he could have taken this bishop, which is unprotected. But with all these moves I'm doing, he has to respond to those moves. So he takes my rook and get my bishop to safety. He says you overlooked a better way to put your bishop to safety. I could have moved the bishop here, which would have been protected by this pawn. That would have been a good thing. But he moves this queen. Uh, you miss an opportunity to punish the mistake. This permits the opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a knight. Oh, that's the word to the black side. Okay. All right. So, oh, if I had moved my rook here, I would have threatened the knight and threatened to get a free pawn. I did not see that during the game. I didn't see it. So I moved my bishop here at the recommendation of the engine. I really like having things in front of the queen because if you can move things around just right, you can win some, some free things and uh, threaten the queen at the same time. He gets his knight up to a4, gets out of the way. And then I, I get this rook here, in, you know, threatening the queen. Because you I could uh, I, if I got this out of the way and he left his queen there, I'd protect that pawn. And then, uh, then I could move this to this pawn and threaten his queen at the same time. And he'd have to, he'd have to uh, just let me have that free pawn. I, I didn't do that. So he, now he's threatening my bishop with his knight. I threaten his queen. It's protected. This bishop is protected. Threatening his queen here. So he has to move his queen out of the way. And then I move my bishop to f3. That's considered a great move. Look at that. It's a great move. <laughs> You're threatening to win a pawn. I don't know what pawn I'm threatening to win. Threatening to win a pawn. I don't know. I don't see it. All right. So he takes that pawn. And then I loved pinning the knight against the queen. And it doesn't matter what he did. I loved taking that knight with a pawn. Uh, of course, I had to get my bishop out of the way, which I did. It's a good move. He retreats his bishop. So what? I'm able to uh, take his pawn with a protected bishop. And uh, even if this sex, so I have two. If you have two pieces on a square and your attacker has two pieces, if the attacker, well, the defender has the advantage. So he advances his pawn to a5. I advance my pawn. He doesn't take it. He takes my... He takes my bishop, which is fine. I put my queen up, and he doesn't take this pawn. I'm not sure why. He advances his pawn, and wow. Now I have a passed pawn, which I love, and I take his pawn. So that was a freebie. I don't, I don't think Levy actually would have made that move. Then uh, the recommendation of the engine for black was to move the uh, rook there to c8, but he didn't do it. Moved his pawn down. He's still, you know, still moving his pawn around. So I move my, I, I take it with my rook. I doubt Levy would have actually done that either. So, so the the uh, it's not a it's not a real good recommendation from the engine, but it was still a lot of fun. To, okay, just try it. You're gonna feel great when you beat Levy in uh, option one. Okay, so we have this 
rook, which is uh, threatening my queen, and I move out of the way. The recommendation was to move here, but then he would have taken my pawn. I, I didn't like that very well. I didn't like that at all. So uh, trade queens, take. So now I have this bishop here to protect this square. That's huge. So as I, as I move the pawn up, the brook has to get out of the way, and he goes to protect his pawn, and I move my bishop to e7. So when you move your bishop to e7, you're covering d8. There's no way to keep from getting a queen. And so I get the queen, and I... You know, he loses his last power piece. He has a lot of pawns, but uh, we went through that. So the, you know, the end game uh, was just taking a bunch of pawns and moving pawns around and uh, making things happen. The engine helped me with this as well, which I really liked. And I could have just uh, traded a pawn for whatever, but uh, there we go. So I got the last pawn, protect my rook. And so I like having this. The rook like this because this rook corrals the king in here and it's a protected rook by this king and so i can take this pawn up and go get a queen and then uh, just you know get him in checkmate and that that's what i did so the the engine didn't really praise me for that yeah 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 congrats on your win but there was a quicker way to checkmate there's always a quicker way to checkmate when it comes with the engine i hope you like this please play some of these bots i mean if you go to the um if you go to um Play the computer. It shows you all the bots you can play. So these are all the creators that you can uh, play against. Uh, I played against this and actually got through uh, only 800, uh, 1100. So that's above my, it's above my rating. And it took me a while to do that. But to to beat these guys, I use the the one star option, and then the other. So I haven't played any of these 1801, 2100. So I'll probably try some more of these. Here's someone. 1300 I, I got two stars uh, who is this for three mark rober but then of course we have the you know the top players which would be of course hikaru so uh, maybe i'll try him someday i don't know it'd be amazing to get to play these guys in actuality and maybe someday that'll happen i don't know anyway i hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed it you know, give me a thumbs up and you know, subscribe if you think that uh, you like this kind of content otherwise have a fantastic day thank you so much